When I was younger, I thought fishing was all down to luck. Lately though, I've noticed the same names appearing on the podium in the big fishing matches time and time again. One such name is Matt Godfrey. Winning the under 30s world champs no less than three times, there's no doubt he's one of the best anglers in the world right now. I, on the other hand, hadn't fished a match for about 10 years, and back when I did, I certainly didn't do great. Perhaps there's not so much luck involved as I once thought. Either way, today we were gonna find out, as I'd somehow organized a match against none other than Matt himself. Hello. Hello. I thought you'd be fishing by now. I've been to McDonald's, I needed a poo. I had to go and have a poo. Okay, good. Enough. Come on, Carl, you gotta hurry up. He's already got his kit sorted. I'm not even dressed yet. Okay, let's do it. Let's get down the canal. Come on. I haven't done much canal fishing. In fact, I've barely done this style of fishing at all. I'm definitely out of my comfort zone. Today we'd be fishing up north on the steak and kidney canal. This match would be broken into two halves with our switching spots and all our tackle at lunchtime. Just like most European matches, the winner would be decided on total weight of fish caught. I'm gonna mix up a bit of ground bait. I don't know if I've got the right consistency or flavor or type of ground bait, but it'll do, it's ground bait. Oh look, Matt. Come on the twisted loop. Who taught you that? No one. You got skills. I watched fishing tutorials once. We are plumbing the depths and finding out whereabouts we're gonna fish because the thing about places like this, there's lots of different options of where the fish might live. So they might be in the deep bit in the middle. They might be under the boats hiding away. They might be in this big open bit. So I want to have two or three different spots in mind to try. Are you starting? It's not got ground bait in it. You no, can't no, do it. Hasn't, it's got nothing in it. I can see it's got ground bait in it. You are a cheat. No, I, I did. I, I, You're talking to me as you cheat. I'm not, I'm not casting it out. I'm putting it down there. You were about to cast it out. There's no bait going in before the start. I've clipped up. I'm just. I've got it ready. I'm waiting now. I bet you've probably dipped your plummet in some fish attractant. Or would you just save that for the big matches? Save it for the big matches like this. Alex would never have cheated. Fine, be that way. Make it personal, make it about my brother. <laughs> Here we are. Keep net is ready. Some baits, a rod, landing net, which I hope I have to use today. And Matt is just nearly ready, I think. I'm just getting my bait ready, love. What's the crack, are, we, are you ready to go? Um, I came over to ask you if you're ready to go. I'm literally ready now. Right, shall we go in now? Shall we just go for it? Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, love. <laughs> good, good luck to you too. Good luck. Are we keeping this friendly? Are we going to talk as if we like each other? Yeah. No. This is this is this is not a friendly. This is a war. He's very serious, isn't he? Very serious. Whilst I was kind of joking, I genuinely was taking the fishing quite seriously. I mean, how often do you get a chance to fish against a world champion? Got on the perch. No. Hey. Is this happening already? Is it? Spiky little friend. We're off the mark. We're off the mark, Carl. Well done. Thanks, mate. Good start. Oh my. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. That's not bad. Here we go. I've hooked one. Oh, my heart's racing. I've not been in a match in a long time. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's not often I'm excited to catch a bream, but right now, this is exactly what we need. Ah, <coughs> oh, it flicked slime in my eye. 
So, I am pole fishing today. I know that Carl's using a rod, but this one, lots of little carbon fibre sections, very, very accurate, and I ain't got a reel to contend with. Oh, ooh. Oh, flipping doodars. That, that was a good bite. Did you miss it? I had it on for a sec, but lost it straight away. So obviously in match fishing, the winners generally decided on the total weight of fish at the end of the competition. So it doesn't matter if you've got lots and lots of little ones or a few big ones, you know, you could win it with less fish, but bigger ones or mm, loads and loads of fish, but little ones. However, there's one thing you can't win with, and that sticks. Branching out, boys. Branching out. Is that bite? Go on, he's got one. Oh, what's it gonna? Not gonna win a match with them, mate. Depends how many of them you catch, brother. We're gonna need about 10 million. Judging by Matt's speed and efficiency, 10 million fish didn't seem so impossible. He was hauling. He's got another one. Oh, that's a bit better. That's pulling out some elastic, that is. Oh, hello. Oh no, look at what your cameraman's done. You've set this up. What do you mean? Look, his tripod's in between my landing net. Don't knock the camera in, Matt. Trying to slow me down, aren't you? Well, guess what? It didn't work. Uh, you are sabotaging this. I had nothing to do with the placement of the tripod. That's a nice bream. It's not as big as yours, is it, Can Carl? Hold, hold on to it for a second. It's going to get. Oh close. yeah. It's going to get close up. Hold on to it for a second. Waste a bit more time. No, no, it's for the film. Send the cameraman down, running noisily Stamp. on the path to scare the fish. <laughs> Stamp your feet. Give him a kiss. Lovely. I'm struggling. I had a couple of bites early on, one skimmer bream, one perch, and then nothing. And I don't know what to do. Ooh. I am struggling big time. I think it's time for the secret weapon. Whoa, Carl, what's this? Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, you got one. Oh, he's got a big one. No, that's a big, that's a good fish. What is that? That's a good fish. I think that's a pike. Whoa, I need this pole, I need this pole, I need this pole. <laughs> what is it? I think that's a pike. That's huge, whatever that is. Something big, isn't it? You might have to follow that. <laughs> Maybe a perch has grabbed the bait and a pike's grabbed the perch. I think that's what's happened. <gasps> Look at the bubbles. Oh, it's definitely a pike. Look at all the bubbles coming up. <laughs> oh, look oh. at him go, look at him go. Oh man, he's got some speed on him. Is it, is it, is it, can you see? Oh, the number of bubbles coming up off of him. <gasps> Big pike. That's a nice pike. See him? Yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe he's not chewed through my line yet. Oh my God, look at that. How lucky was that? Just bit through my line in the net. That's a beauty, Matt. Fat, isn't he? He's been eating lots of roach and bream, I think. What, um, come on, what weight are you giving me for him? He's got to be four or five pounds. Two minutes ago, I was of the opinion that pike should count in matches. But now that the pro was catching them on one pound line and maggots, I wasn't so sure. He's a fat little thing, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Don't <laughs> need to talk about me like that. <laughs> Oh, fair play, Matt. You like that? Yeah. Cal's been trying all winter, haven't you, for a pike like that? <laughs> See, do you reckon if I just take that nice little roach deadbait and just... 
the weight's going up. Is that really stupid? Yes, it was rather silly indeed. But now that Matt was so far ahead, I decided that the pike rod needed to be cast out. Carlos, they're getting bigger. Oh, they are, aren't they? That's a nice one. Oh, Carlos. They're the ones we want, boys and girls. Biggest one yet, I'm saying. Beautiful. I'm going to teach you some northern. You ready? Yeah. So, now then, mate. Now then, mate. So, how you doing? How you doing? And if I ask you how you doing, you've got to go, I'm all right, mate. What do you eat up north? Pie sandwiches. Oh, hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes. Go on. I felt like I was finally beginning my comeback, getting amongst some decent skimmers. Oh, slab, mate. Matt is still hauling them. His numbers are just creeping up and up and up. And he's had a nice pike. My pike rod's out. I flicked it over there. I've got it down here now, but not a touch. And he catches one on a, on a maggot on one pound line. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Here we, oh, you just. Nobody likes to see that, do they? Hey? Nobody likes to see that, Carl. I think it's time for lunch. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Is it one o'clock? Well, it's not actually. It's 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, 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 anyway. yeah, yeah, it's one o'clock. One o'clock. is um, on pause. It's paused, yeah. So th is that's the end of the first half? Yeah, yeah. it's lunchtime now. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Yeah. That went quick. One o'clock. The first half was over, it was time for some lunch, and then we'd weigh our catches before switching spots and tackle to see if the pro kit meant more fish. In this bag is... Yeah. Oh. Rubicon! Oh. <laughs> Rubicon's my favorite drink in the world. Didn't you do quite well in a match the other day? Yeah. We won the Winter League final on Saturday, our team. So you and the... Uh... Nine others, yeah. And then suddenly I come third in a big final. Nice. What, when you say big final, what are you talking? It were 10 grand at winner. Mm. I missed out on winning by one pound. What were you doing? Did you? Why didn't you catch one more skimmer? <laughs> I tried my best. How much of your life have you had to commit to match fishing to, to win the stuff that you've won? Um. I had a lot of it, all of it really, but not in a not in a forced way. Mm. I've enjoyed doing it. I love it, you can tell probably. But do you have to make any sacrifices? Oh well. Like do you have any friends? No. I don't know if that's the ginger hair or the match fishing. You haven't cut the hooks off of your rigs, have you? I've just put a bigger one on so you don't get as many bites. So far, it has been quite tricky for me, to be honest, but I do think that Matt's advanced gear has helped. The pole, the accuracy, the speed of being able to respond to bites and the subtlety of that little float, it's all really, really helped him in that first half. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go with his tackle and seeing how he fares with my kit. So Carl's gone to get his phone and I know he's got a fish meal ground bait and I really don't want to use a fish meal ground bait here. Like my experience on this canal, it tells me that it doesn't work. And what he's caught this morning tells me that it definitely doesn't work. Turns out I didn't really need to get my phone. I've had no messages. So I'm going to sneak a little bit of my own ground bait and my penguin biscuit um, on his peg so he doesn't know. If we really wanted to sabotage it, we could loosen the front legs on the box and he'd get wet. But that'd be terrible because it's very cold. But I reckon we could maybe loosen the back legs a little bit. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, he's nodded. Yeah, that'd be funny. Oh, wow. Matt, you've been busy. Oh, that's a nice one. You like him? Gotta be 20 pound there. Uh, gotta be maybe a bit more. Oh, 19. 19.4. Yeah. I reckon you've been tight there. 
<laughs> well, well, come on. What's, what are you? 18 that time. 19.4. <laughs> well done. Thanks, mate. Let's have a look at mine. Where are yours? I've had a couple of nice bream, some good roach. Well, that doesn't look like a good roach. No, it's a quality roach. That looks like a roach that's been frozen, Carl. Um, Bear in mind, I haven't caught a roach today and you've got two that are dead. I don't think I've quite got 20 pounds. Yeah, it was more like four. Four? Well, you've done good. You reckon? Let's be honest, the first half has been very one-sided. Mm, yeah, but your turn now is on the pole on the seat box. I'm looking forward to it. Well, there you go, Matt. Your net is back out. Can I change your rig? Oh, you, you, you can do anything with the tackle provided. Like inside this tub yeah. is loads of goodies that will help. Have you got any longer hook lengths than the six inch Wait, one? I've got so much, so many different things that you can try. Um, in fact, whilst you're here, sit up. I've got something in here which will sort you right out. Is it a can of carlin? <laughs> no, um, it's actually a book that will really help you with oh. starting fishing. As I know you, I know, like, there you go, bream. Yeah, we've had a few of them. Yeah. Oh, thanks mate. No worries. Salmon. <laughs> None of them in here. Might not find them around here. I thought you were going to take offence to me giving you a simple fishing guidebook. I like it. Oh. Sweet. Well, anyway, who's got the timer? Uh, ready, go. Okay. Don't break that pole. I won't break the pole. I've done this before. He's going to break that pole. Sorry. It's because that leg's wonky. Oh yeah, yeah. Why is that leg wonky? What have you been drinking? <laughs> oh, he's had a few. As Matt and the locals laughed at my misfortune, I fixed the dodgy seat box before getting to work becoming a proper match fisherman. So if, if I just leave the pole here, does the boat stop? No, you must move the pole out of the water. Oh, how long can I wait before I, before I, can you imagine if I, oh, no way, no way, no way, fish. Oh. I, I, I think we have an issue. Not quite what I had in mind. Oh, you haven't even got a rod rest. I oh, know you put it on the keep net. No, on your, you know how you lay it across your knee on the. I did forget the bank stick. This is going to drive me mad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure the float kept going under when Matt was doing it. Okay, let's try putting it in the. I feel like I'm not doing this right. Did you see how well he held the float dead still and did it all so smoothly? That's what I can't do. There were so many fish there, weren't there? I can't believe he's not, I can't believe he's not had a bite. Can you believe you've not had a bite, seriously? Joking aside. No, I don't really understand what's going on. After some more thought, we came to the conclusion that the fish we'd released from our keep nets had swam off and told the others to scarper. I've brought two cameramen out. They've got cameras there, cameras there, camera here, cameras down there. I'm sitting on a box with thousands of pounds worth of equipment around me with 30 different types of bait in the perfect peg, which was plumbed and prepared by the world number one over there. And I can't get a bite. It's very frustrating. Cheers. Cow. Time to start taking this a little more seriously. What we're going to do is put more sections on the pole, go all the way to the boat. And then, how'd you do this? No. No. You watch that, it's all going to pay off in just a moment. First fish wins, we said, this afternoon, didn't we? 
Oh, oh. Go on the roach. First fish wins. If Matt wins with one microscopic roach in the second half, I will be livid. The float hasn't even bobbed. A fish hasn't farted near my, near my rig yet. No. Massive, massive fish. Huge fish. That's two though, isn't it now? Whoa! <laughs> Carlos Santana. More maggots. Still haven't had a bite, but I'm just gonna keep pinging maggots out. I've gotta be doing something or else I'm gonna go crazy. Got something bigger. That might be a skimmer. Come on. Come on. Oh, skimmer. <laughs> Man, I've never heard someone's voice go that high before. Right, why do bream never fight and then when I really need it, it fights? <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Yeah. That's what we need, boys. We've got about an hour left, so hopefully these are going to come in. Oh, well, hang, on, hang on. I need to stop feeding and start focusing. Yeah. Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Yes, yes indeed. That is a fish. <laughs> oh, the anti-climax when this one comes into shot. Ta-da! I did it. I had a bite on the pole. I landed it. Put up quite the tassel. Tell you what though, that was a bite, wasn't it? It was indeed a bite, but at this rate, I needed a miracle to catch up with Matt. Yes. Yes. This is it, this is it. Yes. See, I haven't just caught one fish. Get in the net. Bosh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh, no. This is needed. We need this fish. We need this fish. Because Carl started catching. Oh, that's not bad though, is it, Matt? Mate, this is, this is massive. It's like a six pound bream. No, it's not. Matt, that is six ounces. As Matt began catching again, Cal and Tom were scheming once more. Tired, cold, hungry. hungry. <laughs> yeah, cool. Alright, the match is over, guys! Yeah, match is done. Already? Yeah. Oi! Joking, man! What's in? I've just had an indication, I That's think. Nice it's an indication to reel in. to reel in. Good, good guys don't cheat. Time to bring the nets in, see who's won the second half, and... Go to the pub for a nice warm pint. <laughs> yeah? Wait, warm? Pint of milkshake, by the way. Come on, what are you giving me? Uh, that is a three pound six. Been fair there, hasn't he? Don't forget the beast. I tell you what, they weigh well, they do. Pound 12. Well done. I think you might have won. I think today was one of those days where you realise you've got an awful lot to learn. Match fishing might not be for me, but I enjoyed myself and I definitely want to give it another go at some point soon.